Hey everyone, Becky Lander here with MyConsultantTraining.com. There we go, moving my keyboard out of the way. <laughs> Happy Monday. I hope you guys are having a wonderful start to the week. I know many kiddos were starting school today. Um, whether that's back in the classroom or if Matt is from home, I hope back to school is going well. I heard there was like a nationwide Zoom outage today, so you know, we're just rolling with it. All, <laughs> all this new normal, right? Um, here at our house, we don't start school till next week, so we have a little bit more time of summer left where we're enjoying all of that before we dive in and get back to the books and get back to school. Hey, Sarah, how are you? Happy Monday. Let me go ahead and share this video real quick. Um, if you guys are not in our Facebook group, make sure you hop over there. It's myconsultanttraining.com tribe. And in that group, we share all kinds of helpful tips and tricks and all kinds of things to help you grow your business. So let me go ahead and drop that over there real quick to make sure we're in all the right places. And today we are gonna talk about batching your work and time management. And I think this couldn't have come at a more better time as we are all navigating kids going back to school and just kind of getting getting used to what this new schedule looks like for all of us. Ooh, Ashton, you don't start till September 8th. Oh my goodness. Hey, Leah. Hey, Leslie. Good to see you guys. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we have one one more week. We're counting down. Just today, I was like, you guys, we're going to have to start going to bed a little bit earlier. We're going to have to start getting up a little bit earlier. And I think with that, the new school year, you know, for, for all of us, that kind of brings a chance for us to reevaluate our schedules, prioritize the things that are important, um, and really make sure that we're staying on top of things in both our home life and our business life. So I'm coming at you today with just a couple of helpful tips and tricks as you are thinking about time management and scheduling and batching your work. If you're not familiar with batching, that is something that I am super passionate about. That's a big way of how I run my business and I feel like it has a lot to do with how productive I am, is that I batch my work and I do a lot of the things um, in grouped tasks together. So we'll talk a little bit about that too. Um, but first, let's just talk about time management in general. So right now, life is crazy. We're all stepping back into school. Fall season is gearing up. Hey, Nicole. Uh, so as you're getting ready for the fall, you are you know, thinking about maybe fall events, and holiday shopping and maybe more parties on your calendar than usual. Typically, September, October, November, those are going to be our three big months in direct sales. So time management couldn't be more important. Um, so for our family, what works really well is a Google Calendar. So I have time blocked for my work time. My husband has his work time blocked. Whenever we have kid activities or we need each other for different things, we add it to each other's Google Calendar. Um, it also works really well because there's never that excuse of like, I didn't know we were doing that. <laughs> Like, it's on the calendar. Calendars sync, right? <laughs> so Google Calendar is my best friend. The other thing that I do a lot is time blocking. So if I know that I have a solid three hour chunk of time to get some work done, I will block that time on my calendar and I will actually write down the tasks that are most important for me to get done during that time period. So if I know that I have three hours and I have three big things in my business to get done, I always start with the hardest task first and I just put it straight on my calendar. So I get that calendar reminder that my work time is starting, here are the top three things that I need to do to get done during that time. So when I sit down at my computer, I am ready to work. But I don't know about you guys, but how many times do you sit down at your computer and you're like, oh my gosh, my to-do list is never ending. I have all these things going on. I have 15,000 notifications. I have emails. Where do I even start? So we don't want you feeling that way. We want you to step into your workspace and know exactly what you need to do 
and when to do it. So having that mapped out ahead of time, which takes a little bit of pre-planning. Um, we just got off of a co-working session with our academy group, and we were talking a little bit about this. In fact, we were saying, you know, on a Sunday evening, if that's your, if that's a good time for you, block, just block like 20 minutes and map out those big things that you need to get done for the week and get yourself organized so you can sit down and hit the ground running on a Monday morning versus fumbling around all morning Monday trying to figure out like, you know, <laughs> what you need to be doing next, right? Okay, the other big thing that I love to do is batching. So I batch like everything in my business. So you, you know, you think about like, batching, that means you're going to do similar like activities all at the same time. So my Monday afternoons, they're all meetings. Like I literally jam pack my calendar from 1 p.m. to 7 p.m. I just do back to back meetings all Monday afternoon, but I'm in that mode and I do my hair, right? Because I'm going to like see people and I'm going to have to do all my meetings all at the same time. So batching that is super helpful for me. I also know if I'm going to do my social media, I am going to batch all of that at the same time. So this earlier this year, I had a huge brag that I got three months of social media content batched and scheduled all at the same time. So I, I use SynthShare for my scheduling tool and I go in there and I just knock it out and I batch out all of that work all at once. And so I don't have to wake up every single morning thinking, oh, I should really go post something over in my group today or, oh, what should, what should I say to my audience today? Or I wonder what my followers would want to hear about. Like, of course, I leave a little bit of space in there so if things are coming up in the moment, I can post it or I can be relevant to what's happening within um, the world today. But I definitely try to get ahead as much as I can on all of that scheduling. Because I can sit down and I can knock out 20 weeks of motivational Monday posts in like an hour, right? Because I'm already in that mindset. I'm already thinking about different quotes and different you know, things that I want to share with my audience and I can just knock it out. So if you're not scheduling your social media like that yet, you've got to do it. Even if you start by just batching out a week worth of content or two weeks worth of content or a month of content, do that. Start like start small and build up. You don't have to do three months. That, that was a little bit crazy, not going to lie. But I did. I got ahead. And now I can just focus on showing up for my lives, responding to comments, going back and connecting with people, and not having to think every morning like, all right, like what, you know, what do I want to post today for my audience? So batching that is huge, but you can do that in other aspects of your business too. You can batch your customer service. So maybe every Tuesday, you follow up with your customers that placed orders the week before. Two weeks at a time, Lee, that's great. That is fantastic. Yeah, two weeks, three weeks, absolutely. That is a great place to start. And especially if your direct sales company runs a lot of sales or promotions, I know getting too far ahead can be challenging because you might not always know what's coming up next. But if you can batch out a couple weeks worth of content and then leave space for any of those impromptu sales or promotions that pop up, that's a perfect way to do it also. So customer service, batch all your customer service. You're pretty much saying the same thing to everyone. Of course, you're tweaking it based on who you're talking to, but you're pretty much checking in on orders, seeing if they need anything else. So, you know, plan on doing that every Tuesday and every Friday that you batch that customer service and that follow-up work. Um, another thing that you can think about batching is if you're doing in-person events, that event follow-up. And I recommend doing that as close as you can to the event do the follow-up. So if you're doing a weekend event, block Monday morning to batch the follow-up to those leads that came in over that event. Same thing with hostess coaching, your parties. I know right now a lot of people are doing mega parties where they have multiple hostesses and they're really streamlining their parties and how they're showing up for their hostesses and their customers. And doing that all on the same night is essentially batching your parties, which is another way just to kind of free up your time and keep you in the same mindset and the same state of mind. So you're not kind of always like, what am I going to do next? And you know, that sort of thing. Doing since your training tomorrow. Yay, Nicole, you're going to love it. Let me know if you have questions. I pretty much live, like, since is always a tab that's open. <laughs> it's always open in my browser because I am scheduling out my posts. And then if something comes up where I'm like, oh, that's a really great post. 
I usually screenshot it. So I'll, you know, snap a picture on my, my phone or I'll save it somewhere. And then when I get into that mode of batching my social media, I'll go back to all of those other things that I've screenshotted or kind of screen captured and go back and use those as inspiration. So that's also a good tip. In the marketing world, they call that a swipe file. So if you see like certain email copy that you like or a promotion that somebody else is running and you're like, ooh, that's gonna inspire me to do something similar, you you can always just snap a picture of it, save it in a folder, and then come back to it. And so when you're batching that part of your business, you have easy access to those pieces of information. Um, so the last thing that I'll mention is just to really focus in on what is getting you results right now. I think that for all of us, our time is probably more limited than ever before. And I think that it is easy to get distracted by like the pretty shiny objects. I'm, I'm, I'm guilty of this too. And I'm always thinking, oh, I could do this or I could do that or maybe I should look into this or maybe I should try this new thing. But really focusing on what's getting you results. If parties are getting you results, do more of that, right? If following up with customers is getting you results over text message, text away and do more of that. And batch that work as much as you can to free up your time so you can focus on all the other things that are happening in the world. <laughs> so when you sit down to do business, it is time to do business and you are getting results. Yay, just signed up for Squee and Project Broadcast to follow up with customers and host better. I absolutely love that. I use Project Broadcast in my own business too, and just having those text messages scheduled and ready to go is so huge and so, so, so helpful. So I hope you love it. All right, you guys, that's what I have for you today. Just a couple quick little tips on time management and batching your work. I'd love to hear from you. Let me know what else you batch. Like I batch my meetings customer service, follow-up, I batch social media, um, oh, videos, recording videos is a big one. So if you're recording videos for your business, definitely batch that because you're getting yourself all dolled up and looking good. You might as well change your shirt a couple times and record a few videos at once while you're in that mode and you're, you're ready to do that. So um, I'd love to hear other things that you're batching in your business to keep you focused on what's most important and getting you results and making sure all the other things are kind of happening in the background. So there'll be an email on Wednesday this week with some additional tips on batching. And also I will link in this video, um, I have a checklist of daily habits for direct sellers. So like a daily checklist for direct sellers on things that you're probably touching every day in your business, but a lot of things you can batch schedule for certain days of the week as well. So I'll share that with you here in a bit, you guys. Happy Monday. I'll talk to you soon. See ya.